Hi, Hike and Jim here, and welcome to another episode of Adventures in Stoving. Uh, what you're seeing here, this is an alcohol stove. This is the IsoClean stove from Flat Cat Gear. And this is a very interesting stove because, uh, as the name might suggest, it'll burn isopropanol, in other words, rubbing alcohol. It, this burns isopropyl alcohol, which is normally a yellow, smoky mess. Uh, it burns it cleanly. I don't know if you can see it clearly or not in this uh, video, but that's a blue flame I'm getting. There's no uh, none of the yellow, sooty flame that you normally get with uh, isopropyl alcohol. So I'm, I'm actually pretty excited by this. Uh, this is what I'm burning right now is isopropyl alcohol, 91%. I just went down to CVS Pharmacy a minute ago and picked up a bottle. There we go. That's my fuel tonight. And I'm burning it in the IsoClean stove here. And I've got the windscreen open, so we may get a little flare up if we get a gust of wind, but it's pretty steady. But anyway, that's a real nice blue flame underneath my pot. So I think this is pretty interesting uh, for a variety of reasons. One is if you're a traveler, let's say, and uh, you you know have to get on a plane, you can't carry uh, fuel on a plane. So what you can do though is carry this stove. And the, the first, uh, it, it, this will not only burn uh, isopropyl alcohol, it'll also burn methyl or ethyl alcohol. So if you come, after you get off your plane, whatever you come to first, if you come to a, uh, a gas station, you could probably get methyl alcohol that's sold as gasoline antifreeze, the uh, heat brand typically. And then uh, if you get uh, to a hardware store, you can get denatured alcohol, which is typically a blend of ethyl and methyl alcohol, at least in the United States. Or if you come across a pharmacy, you can burn uh, isopropyl, i.e. rubbing alcohol. And I'm burning, like I say, 91% isopropyl alcohol here. I'm getting a nice, steady blue flame. Let's zoom in a little bit here. And uh, it's working really well. 